Hey guys, this is Ken from Man Cave Effects. In this short video, I want to show you how to find out where your K40 laser's focal point is. That may vary um, depending on your laser bed, depending on the height of your laser bed, depending on your mirrors, on your alignment. And um, so it might be that your focal point will not be the same here as it is here. In my case, for example, um, this spot is like a blackout zone for my laser because uh, after trying it for hours I just can't find a nice midway where everything on my laser bed isn't focused. So um, apparently what happens when I put a sheet of uh, wood in here, the laser, um, the cutting line will be thicker here than it is here because in this corner it's just right a little bit out of focus. And to see in general where your laser's focal point is and if your laser bed is in the right height, I came up with a very simple trick. So what we need are simply seven quarters or seven coins, can be euros or whatever, um, a little piece of paper and a water spritz bottle. That's about it. So what we do is we have our paper here, we have our um, coins, I will make a little tower here in the middle. For In my case I'm measuring it in the middle. Uh, when you're aligning your mirrors, um, after aligning them um, you can try it out on four points of your laser bed, but in my case I'm just doing the midpoint. So what I do is I take five of the seven quarters, I put my piece of paper on here, put one quarter on here and I put one quarter on here. So what this basically is, it's a little ramp. So when the laser engraves a line here, um, we simply see where the line is the thinnest. Um, therefore, I need to spritz this down with a little bit of water to make first of all sure that well our paper does not catch fire, and also to keep the um, to keep the penetration of the laser as small as possible and as concentrated as possible to see a clear um, sharp line. Therefore, I now switch on my laser. I already prepared um, a simple line, it's just a line, you draw a line in Coral Draw, whatever. Uh, you align your laser and um, uh, just one thing, I use always use the engraving method, not uh, the cutting method because the cutting method might be too slow. The engraving method uh, makes the laser heads uh, move pretty quickly, so um, it penetrates the paper as short as possible because um, too slow cuts on paper might cause the paper to burn out so you won't see a clear line. Um, good, I will align now um, the laser head um, to my piece of paper and then I will engrave this line. And the uh, very last second I spritz this down with some water. Um, well, avoid, sure, avoid your laser head with the water. Now when you did this, um, you should go on right away because the thing is that the paper might wave because of the water. So spritz it in the last second and then engrave right away. I will do this right now and there we have it. Alright, so I'm switching off the laser now. Taking this slowly out of the way. And uh, I will now, first of all, I will refocus the camera. Give me a second, maybe I can do this from here. Okay, so this is apparently the closest thing I can get to with this uh, lens on my camera. I do not have a um, macro lens for now, so I can't really show you exactly what I mean. But with my with the eye, you see that um, the cut is w way wider here, and it gets very very thin here, and it gets wider over here again, which basically means that the actual laser bed is kind of out of focus which is okay because our working piece usually has a little thickness to it so the laser focal point right now for my opinion with my eye will be around here which in my case is absolutely fine and perfect because when i cut like three millimeter um, acrylics or um, four millimeter wood or whatever this should be pretty nice my line is a little messed up because of the water but um, yeah that's basically it and that means for me that my wood like let's say it would be three millimeter thick I have a little wood chip here this is three millimeter thick and when my laser hits it it's in terms of height it's in the exact more or less in the exact focal point 
Alright guys, this was it already. I hope this helps you out a little and I will see you in the next K40 laser video. Until then, see ya!